If you've been paying close attention to your portfolio, you've probably seen some major debts. Now, it's largely because of the Iran-Israel conflict happening in the Middle East. Your reporter Ashley Portillo breaking down how this war and other factors have been impacting your portfolio over the last few weeks. Right, and I was able to speak with an economics professor over at MSU Denver about this, and he said those tensions in an oil-rich Middle East are impacting global oil supplies and driving up energy prices. In turn, that's going to have a big impact on your investments and your portfolio. So the stock market was up on April 11th, but then began seeing major dips until about April 19th. Now, a, another reason for those dips is because the Federal Reserve has also said they don't know when they're going to lower interest rates. Now, that professor encourages you to be patient and not sell anything from your portfolio. But if you can, buy a few stocks because right now they're essentially on sale or on clearance and it's also recommended to diversify your portfolio because you never know which sector is going to take a hit and when. By the small amounts you should keep buying. Uh, of course you cannot put all the eggs in one basket. You buy some stocks or you buy some bonds and you buy some real estate. You buy uh, all kinds of uh, so you diversify your portfolio. And if you are planning on being in the stock market for a very long time, just keep in mind the market does fluctuate, always goes down, and then always goes right back up. Now, there's never been a 15-year period in history where the market has gone down. Some good news to report this morning, though. In the past week and a half, the market has seen some positive signs of recovery. Brian. All right, a little bit of silver lining there. Ashley, thank you.